They don't like to flood in as the plant is going down. They like to be very structured, make sure there's nobody tree, clear out anybody that could be backstabbing. And they're going to realize here that all five players are towards Sight and A-Main. So peace of mind towards Cat. Knife against it, flash up the top, can't detonate it though, suppressed. Fragment Nade going to be clearing a part of that one, and now here comes the waterfall right down and out. Fragment Nade finds it, and a fight's being taken. Fnatic laying claim to the map, laying claim to the site. It's all down to this. Less with the most to do, trying to spam it and boast to starting things up. Man's going to need a security detail with a way. They seem to know, though. He know the position and the dash into the wall. What a blunder. Loud quick to capitalize, and look at the squeeze that's occurring. Leo has to back up. Has to back away, and he does claim the one. Still, Seekers now. Used to try and take that market position. Loud wondering what's going on, and Leo goes for it. Okay, Hunter's Fury up close, and a flash play! What is that? Fnatic cooking up plays out of nowhere. Incredible coordination. That's such an unorthodox position to ult from, but that's Leo to a T, isn't it? Always doing something new on Initiator. And now the pressure on these final two players from Loud. Barely any health between them. Spike in hand, that's about the only saving grace. What is going on there? Clear. The players are low still. Leo just not quite ready for it. Maybe looking at the mini-map or looking towards tiles. Communicating, not focused on what's going on in front of him, and it's opened a gap. Oh, they've cleared their way through. Look at that. Viper wall up still. The angle's not watched for, and Alvia this time will not be caught unaware. Making sure that he can... Claim and vacuum up all that space. Revealed though, still has to hug the wall. Paranoia goes so wide. Durka tries to go for a bite of the apple, but he's pushed back nevertheless. Now we see it. Viper's pit dropped down. The strength of this composition comes from this big ultimate. We saw DRX getting faltered time and time again, but this time Fnatic are not going to be deterred. They want to try and take this one. Jumping down onto the site. Up top. And it's Durka who claims the first. That jet head to head. Manifest. Two E's has altered behind them, and the spike is not inside the pit. But it is chaos. It's anyone's game right now, anyone's rounds. Tap of the spike, seeing if they can force the positioning. It's Chronicle, unaware of any sort of players in his sight lines. The pit dropped down, down, two to two v two. And Bosa's taking it, half of the defuse, gets out of his life, and Leo, what is that? Three in a round, and he just closes it out. And their defense side is very good. Their defense side is normally better on ascent, but Loud still needs Right now, leaving no room for error for the start of this best of five grand finals here in Sao Paulo. Same play as before. The dog to clear, counter spam from Aspas. One after another, layering that util. Pushing forwards, and they want to fight for this. A bit of running gun, Sadak. Lovely job done, still need to deal with Leo. Ready and waiting. He's been performing miracles. Jumping, hopping around the side, but less is that extra guy. And he's making it so damn hard. Still, the jiggle with the movement out the air, traded. Down to Chronicle, and how does he want to play this in a 1v3? Odin's not ideal for it. Money in his back pocket, though. Could play this if he wants to, but so many angles watched. And play this is. Oh, this. Surely. Oh, my. Timing is everything. Didn't quite have the window of opportunity. It's up to Chronicle to see if he can again push them away. And the unforced errors creeping in here from Fnatic are going to let Loud back into the game. Leo, anti flash position. Tara at his back, broken though. Now the Util dodges it to the side. Leo, though, cannot withstand it. Up to Alfie here. Two players swarm his position. Claims a second. Not too bad. But it's loud all day long. Sailing away in this round. Pop flash play, Chronicle not allowed anything additional. Sheer lockdown going to be placed. Hunter's Fury from the back of the site means that is taken care of. Answered in kind with an ultimate over the top. That's Aspas dashing. Once more, Leo's there. And it's a bit awkward. It's a bit strained for two years. He's out on an island. No help from the rest of his team. Down to just two. It's looking all but sealed for Fnatic to get that eighth round. Tadak, reset, lovely job. Is that a bit of an overheat from Leo, perhaps? Tries to find it, but it is just left up to the IGL, and he will be denied any opportunity. Potential trap play, less 
If you're going to be taking contact, or at least the turret is, there's yeah. going to be a flash on the backside of this one. Turret sees it, flash play, and it's a double swing. Collapse! Two fall. Fnatic left to scramble. What a great trap. I love that play by Loud. Adding something that we didn't see throughout the entirety of their game on Ascent. Snakebite relieves that. The, the spike is on Boaster. Wow, that's an important fight to win. He's still here, he's still waiting. What is occurring? It's Pandemonium! The knife kill from Sadak, and he's still alive, he's still kicking. A bullet would have found him. Could have evened up this battle, could have evened up the fight. And Boaster, maybe a little bit too overexcited there. Out for you. How much can you do? Viper's Pit, round the side, flash blocks, paranoia though, the layers on layers. He may overstep. I mean, look at these players from Cat. They're going to see him. All about that fight. Overstaying is welcome in Tiles. Kawazine, he did get good information, but pays for it with his life. For Risky Ash. for Kawazine, but he does a lot of damage thanks to the Guardian he's got on board. Goodness me. Yeah, Alpha Year walking away, a bit wounded, limping. Dashto from Aspa starting to fade. Seems to be aware. Boaster's up to no good, and he's lurking, creeping, crawling in mid. Is that a fight that's about to be taken? Smoke to block off some sort of angle. I mean, this Still is going to... held. This looks like it's going to be a B hit here. With Boaster going down, it's all up to these players in B main. In that 4v5. Seekers instantly. Dart lights him up and well, an easy target. Less. Basically, we have Paper Mache standing between him and the bullets. He's no longer living. Plant's going to go down, no command, pushing him back, so no abilities to go, to go for that fast flood retake here. Yeah, but here's, here's where we get to see the Viper Wall in action. How do Fnatic set up in the post plants to still support each other? Oh, alarm bar. You can see them trying to get the Warbang kill. It's a cute play. Alpha yet spotted. 42 health. And now he can just bide his time. He can wait it out. He can be a bit of a nuisance for them. Still loud, looking to try and take this one. Players a low, though, and another dart revealed. Leo set up. And how do you clear him out? Just absolutely bunkered. Time running low. Spike. Barely any time left to play with. What is that? Sadak making the most. Leo, how do you hold on? 33 health, but he's done enough. The players allowed, trying to vacate, trying to save their weapon. Chance of him using any UTL. This is fast. Okay, Fnatic. Not wasting any time. Moving forwards, though. This Viper Wall is awkward. How do you maneuver your way around this one? Still two players anchoring it to the back. So loud. Comfortable for now. Still hot flash play. And there's the response. Chronicle there. Judge in the back line. Fearless from Boaster. Seven Takes the fight eight. anyway. Doubled up, though. That is going to be nice. Making it easy for them. And Leo... A minute left, but the game plan has crumbled. Whatever time out loud has taken, paying dividends. In a spammable angle. Nothing thought this one. Hunter's Fury leads the charge, leads them in. Jumping, skipping straight past the Nano Swarms, but Durga's taken so much damage and wow! That's was trying to avoid it. Anchoring into the back of the site. It's a lovely collection of utility, but it's still loud with the edge. Plant down, though. B main control held by Leo. Boaster, a close corner. Now they're going to have to clear this one. They have a flash, but do they decide to put it in that place? No, Tiny doesn't one. quite catch him. False information, potentially. Does Sadhak still clear this one? Knife against them. He does. Runs out. No trade in sight still. Less is there. And Leo's made it dangerous. But down to Chronicle. 1v2. Can he do it? Time is ticking. Time has been bought. No util in his hands. Back of the side cleared. Finds an easy fight. Down to two years. And this is so dangerous. Has to stick it. It's the percentage play. But the running gun forwards. Massive ditch to dig themselves out of. Durka. He's not wasting any time, is he? Overstays his welcome towards main, though. That was contained nicely. Still, Leo. God, man. This guy's util. He almost got two. He's knocked him down quite low, hasn't he? Nana Swarm. Moving forwards, Boaster. That's a TP close. Clears a lot of it. They're all going to be closed now as well. So the site given up, but Louder setting up for a faster play, and it has to be a win. What is the 
What is the plan here from Fnatic to counter the lockdown? They must have known that it was available in the round, but they didn't have anybody backstabbing towards Catwalk. This round feels a little rushed from Fnatic. Yeah, they don't have the foresight quite. It's given Loud this opening. Spike being defused, half on it already. If your plan is to spam, it's not a particularly good one. Two years already gained half, still. He gets taken down. Flank as well the coming through. down, and here's that reflank out here. He might be the difference maker, he might just shut it down, but no. Kawazin, the trust in his teammates. Barely even a tickle, no damage done. But backs away now. Out from the rest of his team, TP in play and there's that ult that he picked up dash forwards cutting it across it's a coordinated play it's a coordinated strike the fanatic turning the arena into a library but loud have got to do the most now to try and upset that knives in aspas's hand what is the cue he's waiting for dashing to the side spots a player pings it out one kill found still got the knives an upgrade in the weapon less has cleared out b main as well but it's a 2v3 make it a 1v3 aspas just nigh impossible to keep them in the map. On their favored stationary ground, still held down. And that 13th round is claimed. Fnatic 